Hi, I'm Will Flanagan. And I'm Greg Gomer, and this is the Boston O'Beat. We have a special Boston O'Beat coming to you live from Chicago, where we're down here filming for Chicago Tech Week. You may have noticed that Chase Garbarino is not sitting next to me. I'm not Chase. We have a stand-in, Will Flanagan, who's our GM of our Chicago property, Chicago NL. This is actually a tryout for Will, yep. and if he does a good job, he will be replacing Chase altogether. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we'll do it live. F it. The big one this week, again, special edition, is actually an introduction to the Chicago tech community, which is why we have Will here with us. Um, Will, as an expert yep. in the tech community here, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, I mean, Chicago's really exciting. It's because about 20, 30 years ago, there was this saying that to build, you go to the coast, to sell, you come to Chicago. And in the past 10 years, there's been a shift in that thinking and that why not build and sell here? And there's a ton of initiatives in the city to help turn us into a destination for builders like Catapult, one of the shared spaces that we're filming in right now, 1871. We have a super tech friendly mayor, which as Boston can attest to, goes a real long way. And a lot of initiatives to help connect startups to corporations like the ISTC's Corporate Startup Challenge. So it sounds like a very strong community, yeah. Will. Um, the knock on Chicago historically has been the lack of venture capital funding. Um, has that changed? That is changing, man. It's, it's changed in that in, in 2013, over a billion dollars was committed to new companies in Chicago. And that's a 170% increase from the previous year. And this year already, there's no sign of that number dipping. In fact, it's even growing. Making moves this week is actually the Supreme Court. SCOTUS, as I like to call them, made some serious moves this week by essentially killing off a Boston startup that has raised almost $100 million. SCOTUS ruled that Aereo is essentially breaking the law. This ruling favored cable companies and broadcasters rather than welcoming innovation and keeping the cable television industry competitive. Hot off the gas train this week, a little catch up actually on the gas train as we've been a little light for our daily readers. Um, we've talked a little bit about Robin and Bridge on their seed, seed rounds. Uh, we've learned that both are actually oversubscribed and the Atlas Venture is hopping in on both of them. We also know or have been digging into some other goss and have learned that two CEOs from Boston startup companies are actually on their way out. Well, toot toot dudes, because the Goss train is also in Chicago and we're rocking a double decker. We learned that Chicago Ventures is leading a, a round on a Boston startup. Wow. And one of Chicago's hottest startups is going to be launching into an international market on Monday. Wait for that on Chicago Inno when we can tell you who it is. But for the Boston audience, they're in your city as well. In the community this week, the Chicago community. Uh, Will's going to tell us a little bit about what's been going on around Tech Week. We've spent uh, a couple days here. Will's been really working the cameras, uh, and it's been a huge event uh, for the community. Will, how's it going? It's a great time to be in Chicago talking tech and innovation because Tech Week, they took a little lumps leading in with a sexist email, but I mean, right. man, they're pulling it off. It's a celebration of tech. They have some amazing companies. It's an exciting time. The community is loving it. It's a great place to connect, and it's a really beautiful mix of young, young startups and established entrepreneurs, and they all want to talk to one another. And we don't get to celebrate with, with just the people talking, talking shop. We get a little Eric Prize action. One more bit of news this week. Big news this week. Uh, the US team lost to Germany. However, we will be moving on to the round of 16, which is huge. But the real news is the talk of the football, football world, has been around biting. In an attempt to fire up the U.S. fan base, Will Farrell actually threatened to bite 
every German player out there. And that's it for the special edition of the Boston O'Beat in Chicago. I'm Greg Gomer. I'm Will Flanagan. Thanks for coming out. Two two dudes. We're also workshopping a new segment today, the flow chart, where two dudes with flow talk about charts. This chart is really exciting because exciting it, it's a really exciting Very chart. Exciting. It uh, shows the top 10 occupations in Chicago based by postings. And what's really interesting about this chart is that it makes up these 10 jobs a third of the entire, uh, the entire workforce in Chicago. Well, what's really interesting here is that uh, tech jobs are very well represented on the chart. And that was Flowchart. Thanks for flowing out. <laughs> You're an anchor at Sports Center right now. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> call me, call me. Yeah, you can sneak through. We're not filming yet. We're just singing into the mic. Okay.